Hey guys, we're back. Yeah, I'm back. Vicky's back. I'm back. We're back. Mm -hmm. We said that. Yes. Anyway, we wanted to give you guys some advice and talk about eight things to know before you come to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Whether you're going to visit here or live here, these are just eight things that maybe people don't think about before they, they come here and, and things maybe I didn't know about. Yeah. And maybe didn't. you, you mm -hmm. didn't think about. Yeah, until we move out by, by ourselves. Yeah, right. Uh, so what's number one? Uh, water station. Right, water. Uh, you can't drink the water out of the faucet. Well, I should correct myself. You can drink the water out of the faucet. It's safe. The government says it's safe. Mm, but safe. Uh, you don't know what the lines are like in whatever house or building you're in. Mm -hmm. So that's where the problem comes from is the water coming from the actual city line is okay. But once it hits the pipes in the building or house yeah. you're in, uh, you know, it can get contaminants in it. So that's that's why people go to one of these, a water pumping station, where for how much? How much does it cost? Uh, for 20 liter, it might cost like 25 bucks. Oh, Ta Taiwanese dollars. Oh, okay. So, so that's like one, one USD. Yeah, it's super cheap to get a lot of water. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to uh, have to go fill your your water jugs up yeah. um, but also people will install like really nice filters into their houses and that's what your parents have mm -hmm. is they, they have a filter in their house but they still boil their water so and we were boiling the water we were getting out of the water stations mm -hmm. just to be safe yeah just um, in case. yeah so they'll get it out of the filter fill a kettle up and put that on the stove and and boil it yeah. so yeah the water you're gonna be buying bottled water while you're here a lot yeah heads up <laughs> number two Driving can be crazy. It can be really crazy. So yes. here in Taiwan, as you're getting your driver's license here, you can only practice on an enclosed course, a closed course. Yeah. Uh, and then you take it out onto the streets once you get your driver's license. So you don't actually hit the streets until you have your license. Just good luck. It, it absolutely translates uh, into like everyday driving. And people, I think people are more well-behaved in Taipei then maybe further south? Maybe. Yes. Yes. So I've been driving in Taichung, uh, the highway between Taichung and Kaohsiung, and all over Kaohsiung, both car and scooter, and it's nuts. It's some of the craziest driving I've ever seen. I have to close my eyes when he drives. <laughs> I learned all of my scooter skills from her. <laughs> anyway, okay. driving, driving can be nuts, so be careful when you're here. Also, as a pedestrian, look out for crazy drivers they may or may not be following the law and the cops may or may not care whether or not those mm -hmm. people are following the law just slow down and be careful that's uh you slow down that's Don't not always crazy. gonna we just watched something on the news today of an old man walking down the street and a car drove by him. he was going slow and a car drove by him and killed him yeah you never know be careful yes keep an eye out Always watch cars and scooters. Yes. Because they're usually not watching you. So number three, getting around town, depending on where you live, can be difficult. If you don't have a scooter, or you don't have a car, or if you don't have a subway. Yeah. So where we were in Taichung, they don't have a subway. Uh, so we had to rely on the bus system, which in my opinion is... I never... Our I opinion. Yeah. We agree. <laughs> it's not great. They'll like sometimes race each other or uh, they won't show up when they're supposed to. Buses will just like stop running if they've decided it's the end of their route. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there was no subway in Taichung, which caused a lot of problems for us if, um, or when we didn't have our scooter. Yeah. After we got our scooters, it was fine. No um, buses anymore. Yeah, no more buses. But um, yeah, if you, if you don't have a scooter, you don't have a subway system, relying on the bus system can be difficult. But here in Kaohsiung, thankfully there is uh, the subway system. Uh -huh. So that's nice. It's not extensive, but you can at least get around town. It's and, good enough. Yeah, get get close enough to where you're trying to go, yeah. I think. And what, I just walk for a little bit. Yeah. What What are the buses like in Kaohsiung? I've really never taken a bus here. It's also crazy. I think it's like in Taichung. They also Bucks. fight with each other. Uh -huh. Sometimes they are late. <laughs> so, yeah, about the same. So anyway, Keep that in mind um, when you're coming to Taiwan. Uh, obviously, there's taxis everywhere. And, it's so cheap. And Uber's back. Yes. So you can use Uber or, or taxis, and like she said, it is cheap. So 
that's nice at least, but that'll add up quickly if you're trying to live here and yeah. take that to work. Uh, don't recommend doing that. So get a bike or a scooter. Right. I think that's some good advice. Uh -huh. And there are rental bike um, uh, companies here. So you can, rent, you can rent bikes around town, just like China and I think Japan does the same thing. There's probably a bike rental system in Korea. I mean, in summer. Oh yeah, if you're trying to ride a bike <laughs> around Kaohsiung. Oh my god, that's you're, rough. You're gonna lose a lot of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number four. English isn't everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's really not that widespread. Uh, like, like I talked about in our last video, you can't just come here and expect to use English everywhere. Um, in fact, a lot of the signs here, most of the signs are in Chinese yeah. and you can't even figure out without actually walking up to that store what they're selling or what it is. So mm -hmm. also when I say Chinese, I don't mean pinyin. Uh, they, they really don't use pinyin here. In fact, you, yeah. you didn't learn I pinyin. I can't. I can't read pinyin. She, she can't read pinyin. I, I can read pinyin. I, I need to teach her how to read it. Yeah, please. But they don't, they don't learn it here in school. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you come. Number five, older people kind of do what they want. Kind of. They, they kind of run Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, it's advisable not to get into a fight <laughs> with an you don't want that. older person. And, and what we really mean is like if you're standing in line, sometimes an older person may come and get in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, Without you... saying anything. Yeah. They just do it. Uh, that's just kind of the culture here. They've kind of earned the right to in their minds and they're going to. So also they'll drive how they want. And I've really noticed the police God. leaving them alone. And I mean, they'll just cut across full intersections to get where they want to go. So uh, slowly. It's, it's part of the culture here. <laughs> and uh, don't get frustrated when you come. Just kind of say, okay, mm -hmm. you've, you've earned it. Okay, quick wardrobe change. Uh, it's a new day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that brings us to number six, space is limited. Yes. You've always heard the cliche of there not being enough space in Asia. Well, it's really true. And mm -hmm. what you maybe aren't thinking of is all of the stuff all of your stuff that you need to find a place for in your apartment here, which... It's really hard. Ours is like everywhere. So that's just something like you will need to work out in your head and, <laughs> and physically work out with your stuff when yeah. you get here is how you're going to live around your stuff and maybe some stuff that you don't need to bring with you when you come here. Um, and that actually leads to number seven, which is... There's no dryer. There's no dryers. I mean, there's laundromats here where you can go dry your clothes, mm -hmm. um, but most everybody hang dries their, their clothing. Uh, so actually right here in the background is somebody Over hang there. drying their clothes right there. And there. And, and more, all of these windows uh, have the cages on them so people can hang dry their clothes in the street. Yeah, that's what we do in Taiwan. Yeah, so that's, that's just something you're gonna have to get used to. You'll have to plan out when you'll do your laundry uh, so your clothes will be dry in a couple days. Mm -hmm. Thankfully here in Kaohsiung, it's pretty hot it, And especially in the summer. Yeah, so uh, the clothes dry pretty fast. So get ready to hang dry your clothes Yes Number eight convenience stores are everywhere seriously 7-elevens are all over the place and you can do anything you can you can pay your bills you can buy tickets, you can buy food and drinks. There's a lot you can do at these convenience stores and it's, it's mainly 7-Eleven and uh, Family Mart. Those, those are the big ones. Hey, um, did, you, uh, did you get me a water? Do you need one? Yeah, I want my own. Yep, no problem. I'll just go in here and grab myself one. Sure, And go ahead. I think, hey, there's a Family Mart right there. Oh, I need to pay for my tickets. Why don't you go do that? I'll grab a water. Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching guys. That's just eight things that uh, you might need to think about before you come. Yeah. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Poor Vicky. What we do for the videos. She had to walk bye. up all those stairs. Don't talk oh. to me. Exercise. Yes. She hates exercise, people. I hate stairs. You fail, okay? Exercise. No. Stairs. Watch out!
So we're just driving around filming and uh, ran into Parrot Scooter here. Ah! Oh. See it all in Taiwan.